2002 Polaris 700 motor for jet ski. About to install the crank, which was rebuilt using YSM parts, YSM rods, at least YSM rods and new bearings. Got the OEM crank seals. Cleaned up the cases. Got the 1211. The Loctite's the book. My torque wrench. And I think everything I need to get the job going. Pulling the crank seals at the package. Actually, it looks like they even put a little bit of grease up the center is a little bit for you these are the old crank seals obviously they don't look too good use the inner seal Like so. Here's this, the inside, outside of the spacer. And the seals, obviously you're going to sit like this on there. It's got to fit in these two grooves like that. Boom, boom. And then on the other side, this snap ring actually goes in there, holds it in place. So. Got everything all greased up. are on. Now I'll drop the, the crank in. Set the crank in. Let's see the button in there. Yeah. Yeah. Looks, looks like the crank seals are place right where I want them to go. Now I put the case sealer 1211 around on both sides. Drop the halves on. Crankcase bolts, which on this one there's only six. Alright, I got everything lined up. The retaining clip on this side, two seals. Now I'm about to apply, apply the um, 1211 to the mating surfaces. And then put the case together. Putting a thin layer of the case seal on both sides. I usually, I I personally usually go a little too heavy with it. This time, go a tad bit lighter. Uh, they show doing it the other way. I like 
I think this way. Then you could drop it right in, line the seals up. Everything looks all lined up. Loctite 242. So I'll go ahead, put it on all the bolts. Let's see, they should. Yeah, they should uh, perhaps I'll go around putting it on all the bolts. Then drop these in, those in. There you go. Yeah. Two, three, six bolts. Yeah, I remember seeing the order somewhere. You can see, there's the order, one, two, three, four, so one, two, three, four, okay, pretty self-explanatory. All right, now, go back to the torque specs, which was... Small bolts 22, bigger bolts 28. Small bolts 22, bigger bolts 28. Wipe away a little bit of excess sealant if you want. You don't have to. Sometimes I leave it. You're never really going to see it. Flip the case over. That's it. Crankcase all sealed up and ready to go. They actually have another seal. Polaris makes it so they have another seal on the, the stator cover that actually mounts right there. So I don't think we'll get to that today, but. Rebuild crank and crank seals and pretty I've gotten to do a couple of these now so they get a little easier as you do more and more of them. And that's it. All right, these are Polaris cylinders. I got them bored. Now I'm about to check the ring gap. That's the way 
you might not do it this way. This is the way I like to do it. Put the ring in the cylinder. Of course, I oil everything up. You know, push it down there. So it's nice and relatively straight. Wow, well, that's definitely a real tight ring gap. I think they say point. 014 to 0 0.019 if I'm not mistaken. 0 0.014 to 0 0.019. So we'll grab 0.014, which I don't believe will fit. And it's hard to get the light, but as you can see. 0 0.014, if it focuses, is an exact tight fit. So, right, this is my ring filing. Push both ends to the pins, then one. And just a couple. Right now I'm in a tight spot, but yeah, we'll go like that, maybe. That's about it. Same thing. Push the ring in with the piston. Keeps it straight. That's it, 0.016. I like that. Now we'll do the other ring. Get the ring in there. Down with the piston. Point zero one six. You want to keep the rings and the piston to each cylinder marked. So that's what I like to do. Once you get the rings and each individual cylinder piston. So this one has a black dot on the top. Let's see what this one does. Oh, right. Cylinder. 